So make sure you come up on the screen. There we go. Great. Uh, good morning, everybody. Good morning, Garth. Good morning, Richard. Today we are remembering Saint Columba, uh, who was the abbot Iona and a pioneer missionary. Um, he, what he did was he, um, in those days, the Western Isles of Scotland were very strongly linked to Ireland. In fact, the word Scot originally meant somebody from Ireland. So there you go. Um, mm. But they they based so that, um, in fact, because from the bottom of Kintyre, you can see the Irish coastline. So people came across and around the islands. Um, and it's rumoured that Columba went to Iona because it was an island where, which was close to Ireland. But he couldn't see Ireland. He was cut off. Uh, it's right at the far end of Mull. And he's, his missionary journeys took him onto the mainland of Scotland, across the top of Scotland. Um, and it's said, for example, that he met the king uh, who was ruling uh, above what is, now, what is now Inverness. And he persuaded him to allow him to take the gospel there and he, to the, uh, the prince in charge of the west of Scotland, which was known as Dalriata. And again, he met with the king. He was apparently unusually tall and he had an unusually loud voice, which must have meant that he was quite a formidable figure. Uh, and he used that. So you could have used it to become one of the warring princes of his time, but he used it to establish a, a very, very powerful monastic tradition and a monastic missionary tradition. Uh, so well worth remembering. Um, and, and Garth, you had a very big uh, Jubilee weekend, didn't you, at uh, Tipsley? We did, yes. We had um, three days of open church. Um, and on Saturday, we had a Jubilee tea, um, which was, um, we had about 76 people at the tea. And that's not in, in counting the servers. And it, it was a good time. We, I mean, uh, we sang, uh, we, St. Peter's wrote a Jubilee hymn. Um, Various people contributed phrases and thoughts. We we wrote the Jubilee hymn, which we sang both at the tea and on Sunday. And a, a copy of the hymn was sent to Her Majesty. And we got a response back from her as well, a very gracious response. Um, yeah. And the school children, school children recorded yes. the song uh, for us. They sang it. So... It was it was to the tune of blind one, so you know it was a, a bit of a cheat there, but the the words were when you fantastic. Jenny was telling me about a rug as well. Yeah, there's a rug there that uh, was made by some believers from a from Muslim background, uh, which had various Christian. Uh, the main central thing was the 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 Agnes Day, the Lamb of God. Um, with the with the words H and Eco on it, uh, and um, it was it, it was presented to Her Majesty when she visited Pakistan in 1984, I think it was some somewhere along that line, 87, I think it was when she visited. Yeah, wonderful, and um, and I have a copy of it. And it's and you have a copy of it, and it's yeah. it's uh, it, it it featured um, I think the the idea of the of this white lamb that was seen by or supposed to be seen by Constantine at the Battle of Milton Bridge when he converted to Christianity. That's right. Yeah. And uh, the the reason that links in with with Columba, of course, is because that's Latin Christianity, and Columba was kind of Celtic Christianity. So. Um, France and Spain and the UK essentially, and Germany essentially experienced a pincer movement with the Latin Christians coming from one side and the Celtic Christians coming from the other side. That's uh, right. Yeah. So we give very, very grateful thanks to God for that. Mm. So we come to morning prayer. Um, our Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. A song of God's blessing. God, be gracious to us and bless us and make his face to shine upon us. That your way may be known upon earth, your saving power among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. 
O oh, let the nations rejoice and be glad, for you will judge the peoples righteously and govern the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O oh God, let all the peoples praise you. Then shall the earth bring forth her increase, and God, our own God, will bless us. God will bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Psalm 143. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and in your faithfulness give ear to my supplications. Answer me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant, for in your sight shall no one living be justified. For the enemy has pursued me, crushing my life to the ground, making me sit in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints within me. My heart within me is desolate. I remember the time past. I muse upon all your deeds. I consider the work of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you. My soul gasps for you like a thirsty land. O Lord, make haste to answer me. My spirit fails me. Hide I, not from sorry. me. Lest like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear of your loving kindness in the morning, for in you I put my trust. Show me the way I should walk in, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies, for I flee to you for refuge. Teach me to do what pleases you, for you are my God. Let your kindly spirit lead me on a level path. Revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake. For your righteousness' sake, bring me out of trouble. In your faithfulness, slay my enemies and destroy all the adversaries of my soul. For truly, I am your servant. Psalm 146. Alleluia, praise the Lord, O my soul. While I live, will I praise the Lord. As long as I have any being, I will sing praises to my God. Put not your trust in princes, nor in any human power, for there is no help in them. When their breath goes forth, they return to the earth. On that day, all their thoughts perish. Happy are those who have the God of Jacob for their help, whose hope is in the Lord their God. Who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them who keeps his promise forever, who gives justice to those that suffer wrong and bread to those who hunger. The Lord looses those that are bound. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the stranger in the land. He upholds the orphan and widow. But the way of the wicked, he turns upside down. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, throughout all generations. Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. If you wish to read Joshua 4, 1 through to 5, verse 1, this is the reading from the Old Testament. Uh, and we will be reading this morning from Luke 9, uh, verses 51 through to the end of the chapter. When the days drew near to, for him to be taken up, he set his face to go to Jerusalem, and he sent messengers ahead of him. On their way, they entered a village of the Samaritans to make ready for him, but they did not receive him, because his face was set towards Jerusalem. When his disciples, James and John, saw it, they said, Lord, do you want us to command fire to come down from heaven 
and consumed them, but he turned and rebuked them. Then they went on to another village. As they were going along the road, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus said to him, foxes have holes and birds of the air have nests, but the son of man has nowhere to lay his head. To another, he said, follow me. But he said, Lord, first let me go and bury my father. But Jesus said to him, let the dead bury their own dead. But as for you, go and proclaim the kingdom of God. Another said, I will follow you, Lord, but let me first say farewell to those at my home. And Jesus said to him, no one who puts a hand to the plow and looks back is fit for the kingdom of God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be to God. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned. I have called you by name. You are mine. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. Christ gave them as a light to the nations that his salvation might reach to the ends of the earth. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He's raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old, to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. New child should be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Christ gave them as a light to the nations, that his salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. So as we come to prayer this morning, we pray that the Lord will lead and guide our community leaders, all those involved in local government, whether they be parish councillors, borough councillors, uh, district councillors for Bromsgrove, county councillors, the council officers, and all those whose decisions affect aspects of our daily lives. Mm. And Lord Jesus Christ, you are the greatest leader there has ever been. Leading guide those in authority to make decisions will be of a great blessing and benefit to the community. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Father, we pray for those who are leaders in the community, who serve the community around them in practical ways, who try to find solutions, who try to work among those who are needy. And we pray for each one of them. We pray for godly wisdom and inspiration, that Lord, they might be able to find solutions with our, which are right and which are just and which are true. We pray that by your Holy Spirit you will inspire them to continue in their work of service. We pray that they may grow to recognize your hand 
in the work that they do. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray that the Lord will bless us as we look to reach out into the community we live before the Lord, um, outreach to children, young people. We pray that the Lord will make us very, very effective in reaching uh, a new generation of people who will lead the church through the middle of the century and beyond. Lord Jesus Christ, we confess we've not always got it right mm. and we've not always pleased you. You've not always trusted us with people because we've not always been as attractional to you as we could have been. We ask that you will have mercy upon us and that you'll bless the church in Redditch with a new day in which a new generation of people will come and they will learn from the mistakes of the past and take on the best practices of the past and reinterpret them for your future. Lord, we know you are always more up-to-date than us and more relevant than us, so could lead us in that holy direction to properly relate everything that you are and everything you've done for us uh, to those that are to come and those that are already here. Lord Jesus Christ, we pray a mighty blessing upon those who do go out and evangelize. And when we get into situations where we have the opportunity to speak, grant us grace to make the most of every opportunity as we are led by the power of the Holy Spirit. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray, Father, for the two Alpha courses running right now, one on Zoom and one for young people. Mm. We thank you for the those who are attending, for their inquiring minds, their searching hearts. We thank you that, Lord, through these sessions you are speaking to them and that you are opening their eyes of their minds and their hearts to see you. And so we pray that, Father, that through these sessions those who are attending may grow in their faith, may be able to stand and give a testimony of the good things that you have done in their lives. We pray for those who are leading, Lord, that you would inspire them with your Holy Spirit, that with anointing and with the authority of the word and the spirit, Lord, they might be able to proclaim Jesus as Lord and lead these inquiring minds and spirits and souls to, that, to the foot of your throne to be able to see you as their Lord and Saviour. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Today we pray for the Forge Group Ministry. We pray for Dudley Wood and Craig Heath as they explore being linked with Netherton and Derby End. We pray for the PCC and ministers for the future of the Community Link and give thanks for all those who've helped during the vacancy there. We bring before the Lord Rich Hackett, uh, as the uh, as the priest and the reader of our cope and Lord Jesus Christ we pray that you'll mightily bless your ministry uh, in reaching out to the people of that locality we bring before you also the diocese of Madhya Kerala in India Bishop Thomas we pray that you will be his inspiration and we pray that you'll lead and guide that church to prosper spiritually and numerically. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Father, we pray today for our schools that are in our town. We pray for teachers and students alike that, Lord, they might find a freshness as they approach the studies. We pray, Father, for governing bodies as they seek to guide and oversee the work of, in our schools. We pray for RE teachers and for chaplains. We pray for the input that churches have into the schools in various ways, through being on governing bodies, through being to, through taking assemblies, the open the church, open the book teams that are going in. For those who 
provide mentoring to students. And we pray, Father, as we thank you for this opportunity that you would work amongst them, that you would be with them. We pray for the work of the college in town, part of the um, heart of Worcester. We pray for our for the staff and the students alike. We ask, Lord, that you would raise up with, for yourself within the college a testimony and a witness, a voice that will be heard even in barren places that would draw folk to you, that would draw them to your love and to knowing you. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Almighty God, who filled the heart of Columba with the joy of the Holy Spirit and with deep love for those in his care, may your pilgrim people follow him, strong in faith, sustained by hope, and one in the love that binds us to you. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. Uh, it's been great to be with everybody this morning and uh, thank you so much, Garth. Thank you, Richard. It's, it's good to be praying with you in the morning and fellowshipping. It is really, really good, and we trust that um, you will have a really good day, and that the Lord greatly bless the ministry at St. Peter's, and uh, Likewise. Yeah. onwards and upwards, onwards and Always. upwards. Always. <laughs> bless you. Thank you so much, Garth. And you too, Richard. Bye, everybody.